And yes, I have been puked on, peed on, pooped on. Probably just perks of the job. Hey there lovely person watching YouTube, welcome back. If you're new here, hi, my name is Ajay. I'm a doctor from Bangalore, India. A lot of weird things happened in 2020, but one good thing happened to me in 2020. So I spoke about my favorite medical YouTuber, Dr. Rohin Francis, who runs Medlife Crisis. In one of my videos, he not only watched the video, he even commented on the video and my mind was blown. I was on cloud nine. But later that day, he did something that only an absolute legend would do. He gave me a shout out on his Instagram page. He called this channel a cool channel and that was the first time I was really proud about my YouTube channel. So right after he gave me a shout out on Instagram, another medical YouTuber from the UK, Dr. Kiran Morjaria, DM'd me and we discussed what a legend Rohin Francis is. But here's the thing, I had already seen a few of another Indian doctor's videos. I actually came across him on Ali Abdal's Instagram page in one of the comment sections where they were discussing beards. The world is really a small place and internet is making it even smaller. So a few weeks back, Kiran posted a video about doctor salaries in the UK. And I don't know about you guys, but I always daydream about my future as a multimillionaire. So since Kiran is a GP trainee, which is something that I want to be in two years from now, if you don't know, GP trainee is the same as uh, someone doing residency in family medicine here in India or in the US. So since I want to be in his position in probably another one and a half or two years, I was curious about how much he is getting paid and how much doctors in the UK in general are getting paid. So if you're also curious, hop on, let's watch this together and I'll react slash explain everything as we go on. Money amongst doctors is a bit of a taboo subject. You get paid what you get paid and that's that because you don't do it for the money. You do it for that feeling you get when a patient vomits on the new shoes that your mum just bought you. That At this point, I have to mention that Kiran is a stand-up comedian as well. And yes, I have been puked on, peed on, pooped on. Probably just perks of the job. That being said, I think it's still important for us to take some financial responsibility. And especially for people in training or people hoping to become doctors, you should at least know what you can expect to earn when you qualify so that we can so the whole point I'm watching this video is to plan when I can buy my first Lamborghini. I'm not joking. And plan our finances and our futures. So in this video, I'm going to be breaking down this month's pay slip and I'm going to be letting you know how much money I earn as a junior doctor in the UK. So I've worked in hospital for three years already two years doing my foundation years, one year as a locum doctor, and now I'm training to be a GP. If this is the... So what he's basically explaining is his level of training. So in the UK, once you finish medical school, you have to do two years of foundation year training, foundation year one and foundation year two. After that, you get into specialty training, which is the same as residency, and that is like starts with ST1, ST2, ST3, and so on. Since I've already finished internship here, I've already completed the equivalent of FY1. So if I go to the UK and work now, it will be in FY2 position. Locum jobs are these part-time jobs that you can take. Basically, if uh, some other uh, full-time physician is on leave or something happened and they're not able to come to work, they'll call you, you go there and you know do their shifts, and usually you get paid much more than if you were to you know spend the same time working in a full-time job so a lot of doctors in the uk what they do right now is they finish foundation year one and foundation year two basically the foundation years and they take an unofficial year off what they call the foundation year three to do these locum jobs and earn a lot of money before they you know get into specialty training the first time watching one of my videos, my name is Kieran. I'm a junior doctor and a comedian working in Manchester. If you're new, please make sure you subscribe to the channel. If you're just here for the total, here it is. My annual salary as a first year GB trainee is £49,700. But it's more... So that's around 49 lakhs in Indian rupees. And it's quite nice he gave up those figures up front so we know what we are expecting. So let me give you the figures up front for an Indian in the same level of training as him, someone who is a resident. In India, for someone on his level of training, they'll make absolutely zero rupees or possibly even negative rupees. I'm not kidding. Sure, we get paid a salary of around four lakhs per year. 
but the medical colleges think it is okay to take a fee of four to five lakhs. So basically they pay us a salary and they take all that money back in the form of a fee. How this concept of me working in a hospital for 80 to 100 hours a week and then I still have to pay them a fee just, just doesn't make any sense at all. But that's how it is in India. More interesting and more complicated than that. So watch me break down how much money I make as a doctor. So this is my pay slip with all of my details on. Let's start with the basic pay. So as a doctor, you get a basic pay and my basic annual pay is 38,694 pounds. But there's lots of other bits that help boost this pay. That's what I'd get paid if I was working a 40 hour, nine to five week. So I did- So 40 hours sounds it's so absolutely ridiculous to me because I do 40 hour shifts in one go. Like I go in the morning today and I come home next day in the evening. That's how uh, it used to be in during the internship. This is sometimes just once a week that you have to do this. Sometimes it will be twice a week. Sometimes it will be thrice a week plus nine to five shifts on other days. So you'll easily be doing 100 plus hours a week and uh, we won't even get paid properly for that. I did 173 hours this week at basic pay, which is £18.55, which is quite a lot more than I was being paid when I was in my foundation years. 173 hours at 18.55 comes to £3,224.50. It's I a decent bit of money. I read that because I couldn't remember that number. I also do some additional hours, which are part of my rota, so I have no choice. I have to do them, but they're outside but of the But you get paid for that. They're also paid at £18.55. So I did 21.7 of these extra hours. Therefore, I earned another £403. Next, we get additional pay for doing night shifts. For, for a night shift, you get paid 37% more than for doing a day shift. So I did 46 hours of night shifts during this month. Those hours are already counted in the basic hours I've talked about before, but this is just the extra 37% pay. 37% of that 46 hours is another 17 hours worth of pay. So I got an extra 320 pounds. So basically he's getting paid extra for all the extra work he's doing. Basically whatever's out of nine to five, he's getting paid for that. And if he works night, he gets paid 37% uh, more than the regular pay, which is really sweet considering that we don't have any such thing here in India. Pounds for doing this. We also get additional pay for working weekends. <laughs> so depending on how many weekends you work, you'll get a different amount. So one in two is probably the most where you get paid more. One in three weekends, one in four, one in five weekends. So it's absolutely I'm ridiculous to now. One in four to one in five weekends, which is not that many weekends for a doctor. So I'm really happy about that. For working those extra weekends, I get paid an extra 193 pounds 47 pence My so they get paid for working on weekends like extra pay for working on weekends on the weekends they're not working which is most weekends they get weekends off that is saturday and sunday off can you guess how many days of leave i used to get during my internship one day per month and i had to write a long letter to my consultant explaining why i need that one day off and if my consultant decided to say no that was the end of the road. No leave that month. My total payments were £4,114, but that doesn't include any of the deductions. So there's lots of deductions that happen before the pay even gets to me. So my total payments coming in this month were £4,141.67. My total outgoings from tax, from pension, from loans was £1,434.64. So my take home pay this month was £2,707.03. I've not talked about other doctor related good. expenses like fees for courses, fees for medical counsel, fees for insurance and indemnity. These all build up but quite a lot. This is a bit of an overview about a doctor's pay. So how does this compare to when I was a first and second year doctor? Well, my annual pay pre-tax now is around 49,000 700 pounds. When I was a first year doctor, I was on about 40,000 pounds. When I was a second year doctor, I was on about 45,000 pounds. So if I go and work in the UK right now, I'll come under that last category of FY2. So that's what I'll be making. 
in between when I was a locum doctor, I was earning double this, but that's Dollars. another story. That's the dollar year. I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. I'm pretty sure he would have made like uh, at least 70,000 pounds up to 100,000 pounds. But that's for another video, I guess. It's not about me trying to show off how much I earn. It's about taking accountability for our exactly, finances, yeah. especially for people looking to enter the profession. And it's also quite interesting. <laughs> I love watching people do this on YouTube, so I thought I'd do one myself. Obviously, doctors in America are earning double and triple yeah. this, but our healthcare is free. So that's a compromise that we have to make and something I'm happy to make to have free healthcare in this country. Yo, Kiran, absolutely amazing video. So a few points at the end about the things he mentioned at the end. So this might look like a huge salary for someone who's watching from India, and it is a decent salary, but if you compare this salary to a uh, United States doctor's salary, it's a pretty small salary when you make that comparison. But healthcare in the UK is free for everyone. So doctors have the satisfaction of knowing that, uh, you know, their service is available to everyone irrespective of their financial status. So that satisfaction can go quite a long way. And that was it for today. Please make sure you check out another Indian doctor on YouTube. He has a reaction to my video about doctor salaries in India. So that should be a pretty interesting watch for all of you guys. So I'll link it down in the description below. His channel will also be linked down. And make sure you watch that and I'll see you in the next video.